Hey everyone, it's Makeda Valletta once again, also known as the Body Scientist, and um, I've been doing a bunch of videos today because I've, I've had so many videos I've been wanting to do for so long, so now I'm just trying to get it out. So, um, in case you are unfamiliar with me, I have a background in exercise and sports science and nutrition science. I am a strength and conditioning coach, a Olympic weightlifting coach, a sports nutritionist, and um, because today I want to talk about uh, whether what matters more, exercise and nutrition when it comes to weight loss, okay? And I hear people talk about this all the time, and it's, 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 um, they, it's wrong, what a lot of people think. And I was just watching um, a video of a weight loss surgeon telling people not to exercise. Um, after weight loss surgery and telling them that exercise doesn't really do anything and it's all about the diet and you know I have a YouTube video here where I tell people to be careful with who they get their nutrition information from fitness information too fitness and nutrition you don't want to get that information from the doctors because they're not exercise physiologists and they're not nutritionists okay and they usually do not know what they're talking about when it comes to exercise or nutrition so the whole statement, you know, uh, whether or not, you know, if you want to lose weight, what matters more, what you eat, the foods you eat, or exercise. To me, I say they both matter equally. I don't think that one is more important than the other. And sometimes I think it depends on the kind of body that you have, which one may have a play a bigger role. But they're still both equally important. The reason why that exercise is important is because the more lean body mass you have, the faster your metabolism is. So if you want to lose weight, you want to, first of all, in the um, exercise scientists, we don't like to talk about losing weight. We like to talk about losing fat, okay? Because when you lose weight, you can either lose fat, you can lose muscle, or you can lose water weight, which means you severely dehydrate yourself, right? Um, <clears throat> and most people, when they say they want to lose weight, they're talking about fat. You don't want to lose muscle because that really messes up your metabolism and is detrimental, okay? Now, in or, and I have a video, too, about the difference between the BMI and body fat percentage. I highly recommend you take a look at that because the BMI is not an accurate measurement. You do not want to use the BMI as a measurement. Doctors in the medical community, they use the BMI. And um, instead of using the BMI, you want to use body fat percentage. And I would explain why, but I'm just trying to do a brief video. And I, like I said, I have a whole video about the difference between the BMI and the body fat percentage. I will post it below this YouTube video. Make sure you check that out so you understand. Just understand that the BMI is not an accurate measurement, okay? Because um, the, the BMI doesn't take into account your composition. It just takes into account your weight. You could have two people who are 200 pounds. One person could be... 6% body fat, the other one could be 30% body fat. Those are two completely different bodies. The person that's 6% body fat is going to look like, you know, a butt, like very, very lean and muscular. The person who is 30% body fat is going to be chubby, okay, or fat. So, um, but they're the same weight. So this is the reason why you don't want to just go by the weight. You need to go by what percentage of your weight is fat and what percentage is lean body mass, okay? And when you don't eat enough food, enough calories, enough protein, your muscle will eat itself, okay? And then you start losing weight, but you're losing muscle. You don't want to do that because when you lose muscle, it slows down your metabolism. It also is what takes away your shape. Muscles what gives you shape. Muscles supports your, muscles move your bones. Muscles support your joints. They take stress off your joints. So you start losing muscle, now your back hurts. Now your metabolism has slowed down. If you're someone who's trying to lose weight and lose muscle, you'll get fat so much easier. If you're someone like myself and you lose muscle, you'll just be thinner, you know. I'm not trying to be skinnier, you know. Um, but for people, who, for this, this, this is focused on weight loss. The people who are trying to lose weight or lose fat, if you start to deplete your muscle, your metabolism slows down because muscle is the metabolic tissue in the body. The more muscle you have, the more calories you burn, even when you're doing absolutely nothing, okay. I have a video about metabolism, too, that I'm going to post below where I get more into depth about metabolism the facts about metabolism and how it actually works. So you never want to do stuff that's going to cause you to lose muscle, all right? Um, and not eating enough, not eating enough protein, not eating enough calories will do that. So 
when you start to gain muscles, more dense than fat. So like, I don't know. Let's say, let's say a pound of muscle takes up this much space, like this coin, right? And let's say a pound of fat takes up this much space, right? This is bigger. This is takes up more space, right? So if you lose ten of these, ten pounds of um, muscle. I'm sorry, sorry. If you lose 10 of these, this is the fat, this is the muscle, right? This is this it takes up more space than this does. Muscle, fat. So if you lose 10 pounds of fat, you lose 10 of these, and you gain 9 of these, and you get on the scale, your weight is only 1 pound difference. So you're thinking, damn, I only lost 1 pound, but you're smaller because you lost 10 pounds of fat and gained 9 pounds of muscle. Muscle is more dense, which means it takes up less space, okay? So... You don't want to use weight as a determining factor. You want to use your body fat percentage as a determining factor. Just remember, when you build up muscle and lean body mass, you burn more fat. So if you're trying to lose weight, lose fat, really, okay, because you don't want to just, if you just dehydrate yourself or you lose muscle, that's not what you want. You want to lose fat. So gaining muscle is critical to that, okay? So I don't, I never understand when people are trying to go on some weight loss journey and they're like, oh, I'm not going to exercise. I'm just going to uh, diet. No, you need to do. You need to move your damn body. You need to move your body. Your body utilizes nutrients and food different when you're actually using your body. However, you do not want to do a lot of aerobic activity, like jogging forever and doing that, because that causes you to lose muscle. You want to do things that's anabolic, things that's going to build muscle, like weight training. Okay. Um, and then the food equally matters because the food in the, in the, what you do physically in the food complement each other. When you work out really hard, you need the nutrients so your muscles can build back. Okay, you have a greater demand for certain things. So, um, and you want to eat foods that are high in nutritious because your body metabolizes foods differently depending on what the hell it is that you ate, the composition of that food, and also the composition of your body has everything to do with how your body metabolizes food. So when I hear people talk about, you know, weight loss doctors or, or whatever, saying that one is more important than the other, because a lot of times they'll say, calories in equals calories out, which is totally not true, okay? If you watch my videos on metabolism, you understand that is false. That calories in equals calories out, and oh, if you want to lose weight, you just decrease your calories. No, 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 no. We forget about calories. I also have another YouTube video called Calorie Counting as, as an Inexact Science. So check that out too. I'll also try to post it below. And if you watch those videos, you'll understand more what I'm talking about. But when you're eating and you're thinking about food, you do not want to think about calories. Get that out of your mind. You want to think about nutrients. What are the nutrients in this food? You want to eat nutrient-dense foods. And when you're doing a lot physically, it destroys, it, it, it breaks down your your muscles and put stress in your body, so you need the nutrients to help build yourself back up. Okay, so when it comes to weight loss, you don't want to think that one is more important than the other. The same is true for people who are trying to gain weight, like myself. I'm always trying to gain weight. They're both important because if somebody who's naturally thin and they like really want to gain weight, they'll be drinking inshore and eating all this horrible food and trying to gain weight. It doesn't work. People who are naturally skinny, they have to lift weights. You have to do strenuous activity and eat. If you do one without the other, it doesn't work. If you do really strenuous activity, but you don't eat enough, you won't have enough food and nutrients for it to build that muscle, right? And to gain that weight. But if you eat a whole bunch of food and you don't do anything, you're not going to gain weight. For the people who are naturally skinny, we all know people who are skinny and they eat any and everything and they don't gain weight. Okay. So understand that when it comes to weight loss or weight gain, you don't want to think that one is more important than the other. Exercise and nutrition both play a role. Don't listen to people who try to tell you different. I'm going to end this video here because I'm losing my light. Check out the other videos I have on metabolism and calorie counting. And um, if anybody ever needs help, I'm always around for evaluations, consultations. You can email me directly at thebodyscientist81 at gmail.com, and have a lovely day, people. <laughs> Bye.